This question is checking to see whether or not you can look at some pseudocode, understand what it does, and if you understand sequence and selection and iteration and that sort of thing. Okay, so let's read the question carefully and then work our way through each of the, uh, the questions. So, figure one, that's this, shows a pseudocode representation. So remember, pseudocode is not code that you type in to be able to run by a computer. It's code that any programmer can look at, regardless of what language they speak or what language they can code in. They can look at this and understand how an algorithm works. And an algorithm is just step-by-step -step instructions to solve a problem. So our pseudocode representation um, has a function called findHighest. So we've got a function called findHighest here. And find highest is used to find the largest value, the largest number stored in an array or a list. Okay, so um, first question, how many parameters does the function find highest have? A parameter is the thing inside brackets after a function or a procedure definition. So this is defining a function. This is the name find highest and it's got one parameter called R, which is probably short for array. So the answer to this question is one, it has just one parameter. And if we think about a test situation, R, short for array, um, might be um, a list, and it might have lots of different numbers in. Let's have an example with six numbers, one, two, three, four, five, and eight. Um, so function uses iteration. Give the line number on which iteration starts. Well, let's work through with our example and explain each line in turn until we get to iteration. So, um, if we're finding the highest of an array, and if we're saying that our array is this list of numbers, first of all, we're making a new variable, calling, and we're calling it highest, and we're setting highest to the first item in our list. So in pseudocode, we start counting from 1 rather than Python or C, which counts from 0. So R1 would be the first number in our list. So highest is currently 1. Then we've got 4i um, is 2 to len R. So this means we make a new variable called i. We start off by setting it to 2. We work out how long our array is, so len r means the length of array, so that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, so len r is 6, and it's saying use i to count from 2 all the way up to 6. So we'll loop round with i is 2, i is 3, i is 4, i is 5, i is 6, and then we stop and move on. So this is iteration. Iteration means looping through each value in a list um, and doing something with it. So Function uses iteration, and that starts on line 3. So a for loop um, is a way of iterating through each item in a list. It says the function uses selection, so um, let's have a look through and see what selection is and where it's used. So once we're looping through each item in our list, it's saying if ri, and that means the current value that we're looking at, remember i could be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6, and we're looking at whichever value inside our list, and if the current value that we're looking at is greater than our current highest, then we do something. And this decision is selection. Selection means making a choice. So the line number where selection starts is line 4, because that's where we have to make a choice in our program. So just here is line 4. Then it says the function uses variable assignment, and we have to say where it's first used for variable assignment. And that means when do you set the value of a variable? Um, so we do that a couple of times. We're setting the value of highest here, we're setting the value of highest here, and we're setting the value of i here. So the first time we do it is line 2. So assignment means we set the value of a variable. Remember, a variable is just something that stores a value that might change. Um, so line 2 is the first time we do that. Then we've got a question about the scope of a variable. It says the variable i only has scope between lines 3 and 7 inside our for loop. And then we have to explain, with reference to the variable i, what scope means. So what is scope? Um, scope means the part of a program where you can read or write um, that variable, or where you can call that function. Um, so we can only read the value of i, we can only use i from lines 3 to 7, because it's first um, defined on line 3, um, and it's defined inside a for loop. So as soon as we get past the for loop, the program doesn't know what i is. We can't read or write i after line 7. So for our mark, we'd have to say um, 
uh, scope means the part of the program uh, where I can be read, uh, read from or written to. So um, if you want more details about how to understand pseudocode, there's the, the really nasty AQA pseudocode specification, which is pretty confusing, um, or there's this pseudo um, war challenge. You've got a number of challenges, you click on them, it'll give you some pseudocode and it'll test to see if you can understand what it is. If you get the answer right, it'll tell you. Um, if you don't, it doesn't. So it's just um, a chance to test yourself to see if you understand different bits of pseudocode.